Hello everyone and welcome. In this video sponsored by Retail Me Not, we are going to be doing some very cool testing. So the question is, do performance air filters actually work? And so I've got four different air filters here in front of me. We're gonna put each one of these in the car on the dyno, look at horsepower and torque. And then we're also going to be doing real world testing using this V-Box to see out on the open road, do any of these air filters actually improve acceleration? Okay, so first let's get into the filters which we're going to be testing. So the very first one, is the dirty air filter that was already in the core. This is an original equipment filter. As you can see, it's filled with bugs, grass, dirt, that kind of stuff. And so our baseline will be done with this original equipment filter, dirty, uh, it's been in the core for maybe three to 6,000 miles and accumulated a good number of bugs in there. The second filter we will be testing, same as the first one. The only thing is it's brand new, it's clean, there's nothing in it yet. So brand new OE filter, which we will be then testing after testing the dirty filter. Then we move on to our low cost option. This is a CarQuest filter, which I found online, lower price point than the OE filter. So we will see if there's a difference between this lower cost aftermarket filter versus the original equipment filter. It does say premium there on the box. And finally, we have our high performance, highest cost filter. This is a K&N filter, which says right on the box that it is designed to increase horsepower and acceleration. So we will be putting those claims to the test. Does it increase horsepower? We will test that on the dyno. Does it increase acceleration? We will test that out in the real world using the V-Box. So before we get into the testing, I wanna explain very quickly why a high performance air filter might actually increase horsepower. And so there's really two things here and you don't actually need a tune to be able to see these differences. So the first one, if the filter is actually less restrictive, that means the engine doesn't have to work as hard to pull that air into it. If the engine doesn't have to work as hard, it's going to make more power because it's operating more efficiently. The second one is if you can actually bring in more air using a high performance filter, if you actually have more air going into the engine, the sensors of the engine will see that air going in. As a result, they will inject more fuel and as a result, you will make more power. So that's the idea behind high performance air filters. And so we will get these on the dyno and see if it actually does make difference. Now, if you're like me and you're buying car parts all the time as we do or whatever else you may be buying, this Retail Me Not browser extension, which is free, is actually a really cool way to save money and it works on all kinds of websites out there. So for example, I went to advancedautoparts.com and put in the specifications of my Crosstrek 2016 with the two liter engine and then I went to air filters. I found a low cost alternative to the original equipment filter. So here's a CarQuest one for $16.99. I put that in my cart and as you can see the retail me not extension automatically applies any coupon codes that are out there and it took four dollars and 25 cents off the order which is awesome every little bit helps so you can find a link to download the tool in the video description if you're interested and it'll work with all the major browsers out there all right let's get this cross trick on the dyno so first up is our dirty air filter so with each of these filters I'm going to be doing three dyno pulls and then we're going to be comparing the best run of each air filter. What is its best possible horsepower? We will compare each of them individually. So our best run with the dirty air filter, we are looking at 158.3 horsepower and 137.3 pound-feet. Now the Subaru Crosstrek from the factory at the crank has 148 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. So what these numbers are telling us is that this dyno is reading high. Now I'm not all concerned about what the numbers are individually, more so than what is the comparison between them. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, using a dyno to say how much horsepower does your car have isn't all that useful. Using it as a comparison before and after making a change, that's where dynos are actually very useful. So we can look at percentage differences and it doesn't matter all that much what the horsepower numbers are as long as the numbers are getting consistent and we're only changing one variable and then seeing what the differences are. So as you can see, the dyno is reading slightly high with 158 horsepower, uh, knowing that the Crosstrek only makes 148 horsepower. However, each one of these is on the same dyno, same settings, and so the comparison will still be valid. All right, so next up is our clean original equipment filter. So now we're answering the question, uh, does a clean filter help improve horsepower or does a dirty filter cause you to lose horsepower? And so peak numbers we saw with the original clean filter, 160.1 horsepower, 137.4 pound-feet of torque. So an increase of about 1.8 horsepower and 0.2 pound-feet. 
though on average they were nearly identical. So while the peak at the very highest point uh, of the engine's torque curve and horsepower curves was just slightly higher, on average they were actually about equal. So not a big difference. And the filter isn't super dirty, but there are you know a decent number of bugs and you know dirt and stuff in there. So I was a bit surprised that on average not really a big difference between these two filters. All right, next we get to our CarQuest, our premium aftermarket air filter, uh, low cost alternative to the original equipment filter and we actually had a significant increase in horsepower here so 163.3 horsepower and 140.8 pound-feet of torque so we're looking at 3.2 horsepower versus the clean stock filter and 3.4 pound-feet uh, versus the clean stock filter and actually the whole curve kind of did push up a little bit so it looks like this uh, low cost alternative actually does improve horsepower versus the original equipment filter. Does it filter as well? You know, that's kind of the question here. Is this thing just simply not filtering all that much and that's why it's able to have more horsepower? Um, I don't know, that's not what we're testing in this video. We're simply looking at does performance change? And with this low cost alternative so far using the dyno, it does look like this actually will make more horsepower than the stock filter. All right. And and finally we get to our high performance filter so the KNN and this is actually pretty cool it did do the best of all four filters so 164.4 horsepower for its best run 142.5 pound-feet of torque so it's up 4.3 horsepower versus the stock clean filter and it's up 5.1 pound-feet of torque versus the stock clean filter and that again is pretty much across the entire curve that it did better so less resistance less easier for the engine to pull in that air more air coming in resulting in more power uh, looks like with the KNN so 164.4 and 142.5 pound feet of torque so next we will get into you know some real world testing and see do these horsepower numbers, do these percentage differences that we're seeing actually match up with real world numbers in acceleration? Okay, so here's how the real world testing is going to work. I'm gonna be using this V-Box to measure position and we're going to be doing acceleration runs in second gear on the same strip of road. Each filter will get three pulls and I'm gonna be leaving it in second gear. We're gonna measure in five mile per hour increments from 20 miles per hour all the way up to 60 miles per hour. Those five mile per hour increments show us kind of at what RPM are we starting to see gains because I can look at the individual increments. And so we'll be doing that. It's from about 2000 RPM to about 6,500 RPM that we'll be measuring. So the two numbers that I'm gonna focus on for this video is what was the 20 mile per hour to 60 mile per hour time? How long did that take? And then what was the 45 mile per hour to 60 mile per hour time? And the reason for that lower, uh, that higher end there with the 45 to 60 is that will show us if the top end is actually seeing any performance gains like we may have seen on the dyno. And so overall, is there an improvement? And then on the top end, is there an improvement? Okay, so first up is the stock filter, which is dirty. And I ran these runs kind of in a randomized order. Temperature outside remained the same pretty much the whole time at 53 Fahrenheit, uh, but I kind of randomized the order of the testing that way you know we could keep things consistent we didn't have to worry about the fuel level dropping lower and that affecting the weight things like that anyways I tried to do this as fair as possible for all of the individual filters and up first we are going to be looking at the numbers for the stock dirty filter which had a 20 mile per hour to 60 mile per hour time of 8.96 seconds if you thought you should buy a Crosstrek as a drag vehicle, you might want to think again. These things are wildly slow. Uh, but from 20 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour with this dirty filter, did that in 8.96 seconds. From 45 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour, it did that in 3.59 seconds. All right, so then I popped out the dirty filter, stuck in the clean filter, measured our 20 to 60 time and 45 to 60 mile per hour time, and it was nearly identical. So 9.01 seconds from 20 to 60, and then 3.61 seconds from 45 to 60. This is about half a percent of a difference. And it lines up with what we were seeing on the dyno because on average, the torque and the horsepower really weren't very different between these two. And then looking at the real world testing, we're seeing the stock filter that's clean actually do about half a percent worse than the dirty filter, but you know, within a very narrow margin. Um, and so basically they're identical, clean and dirty, didn't make too much of a difference as far as the acceleration, uh, dyno results, as well as the real world results kind of showing the same thing. 
Okay, so here's where things start to get interesting with the CarQuest premium aftermarket filter. So the numbers we saw with this, 20 to 60 miles per hour in 8.91 seconds at about 1.2 faster than the stock clean air filter. And then from 45 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour, did that in 3.56 seconds. So about 1.2% faster as well. Now on the dyno for this CarQuest versus the stock filter, it was about 2% better. Out in the real world, we're seeing numbers about 1.2% better. So they do, you know, correlate as far as it looks like on the dyno, this did better. And then in the real world, it also did slightly better. Now these are just, you know, air filter changes. So it's a minor thing and it's gonna be challenging to actually say, does it actually improve it by exactly 1.2%? Uh, but the data does correlate and doing this many different runs using two different methods and having them kind of of line up uh, leads me to believe that this does actually provide a small increase in horsepower based on the numbers that I'm seeing. And finally, the moment of truth. Does the high performance air filter actually provide any benefit in the real world? So it says right on the box, designed to increase acceleration and horsepower. And so on the dyno, we saw an increase in horsepower and in torque of about 2.5% to about 3.5%. And then out in the real world, 20 to 60 miles per hour in 8.81 seconds. Our fastest filter tested 45 to 60 miles per hour in 3.49 seconds, once again the fastest. So real world testing is about 2.25 to 3.25% faster. On the dyno, we saw about 2.5 to 3.5% faster so the numbers actually do correlate real world and on the dyno, which is pretty cool to see. So overall, it looks like, yes, a performance air filter can actually allow your engine to make a bit more horsepower. Again, the numbers are pretty small here. It's not like you're going to get put back in your seat and thrilled with all the performance that you get. But for how easy it is to do and for how little it costs, it actually does make a difference, which is cool. Now, there is one more point I would like to make because the Crosstrek does have a charcoal filter built within the air box. So your air first passes through the air filter and then after passing through the air filter it has an additional restriction this charcoal air filter and so this is here so that when you shut the car off any gases from the evap system do not evacuate out through the intake you don't have any gasoline coming out the intake uh, but this is an additional restriction but it is a permanent piece of the air box so there's actually plastic tabs if you wanted to remove this you would have to cut them it's not something that's serviceable that you exchange uh, it is an additional restriction though and so the reason why I decided to leave it in for this video is because I think most people if they're simply going to drop in an air filter they're not going to think about this thing they're going to pop in whatever air filter they may choose whether it's original equipment whether it's aftermarket or whether it's a high performance drop it in and we still did see a difference with them but for a future video, I will of course be testing this to see does it actually make a difference if you pull this charcoal filter in and out and will it make a difference with a stock filter versus an aftermarket filter. Uh, so we'll be testing that out in a future video, but something I think worth noting because some vehicles do have these charcoal filters which act as an additional restriction within your intake. So in conclusion, do high performance air filters actually make any difference? Can they increase horsepower? Can they increase acceleration? Well, according to the data in this video, yes which is very cool to see and again a huge thank you to retail me not for sponsoring this video i've got a link if you'd like to download that extension for your browser it can help save you some money on car parts which is always awesome or whatever else it may be that you are purchasing thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions or comments of course feel free to leave those below